In this video, we're going to show you how to install the downstream O2 sensor on your Infiniti G37X, located down in the middle portion of the exhaust. Locating your downstream O2 sensor is fairly easy. You're going to follow the exhaust manifold down and it comes down to our catalytic converter right here. And here is our downstream. Now it's going to be in the same position on the other side, right across on the passenger side there. Now our O2 sensor is a 22 millimeter. You can use an oxygen sensor socket or in our case, we're gonna use a 22 millimeter wrench. And ideally what you wanna do is you wanna kinda of break this free first. Now what you might require is soaking this in some rust penetrant or even apply some heat to where the O2 sensor threads in to the catalytic converter. Ideally, you wanna go ahead and break this free. And that's spinning nice and easy. The next thing we want to do is follow the wire over to our connector and our connectors right here. This is for the driver side and over to the right hand side. This is for the passenger side here. We're going to press in on this little tab and then grab this connector and pull that out. Sometimes these can be stuck because there's debris and sand and stuff in there. You can always spray some sort of penetrant in there to go ahead and loosen that up. There's a little metal retaining clip right here. Simply push that up and out. And go ahead and unthread that oxygen sensor. Now, if you used heat to loosen this up, be careful when handling that again. You don't want to burn yourself. It may get to a point we can go ahead and spin that out by hand. Now I'm spinning the harness itself to assist in getting this out a little bit easier. And then there you have it. And when you remove the old O2 sensor, inspect the threads on the catalytic converter, make sure everything is clean and good. Go ahead and take your new sensor. This has some anti-seize compound on the threads. Do not get that on the sensor. Line this up, insert it in and start to thread it in. Now here's a huge note. Do not twist the wire prematurely of the sensor itself. You don't want to damage the wire. So as you're threading this in by hand, you can then gradually rotate the harness with it so it does not bind up. So as you thread this in, you can rotate the harness with it. Now let's go ahead and snug this down. Now there is what we call a crush washer on this O2 sensor and is designed to be crushed in order to seal. You can actually feel it compress as you use your wrench on it. And then you'll feel the sensor bottom out. Once it bottoms out and just doesn't want to spin anymore, you can actually visually see the crush washer doing its job. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck our wire up here for now. Let's install the connector next. There are little tabs on here. There's two on the side and one on the top. So this will only fit in one way. Push that in, give it a little tug, make sure it's locked in and it is secure. Go ahead and put your harness into this little clip, retaining clip here. Now you don't want to pull on the wires. You don't want to damage this. If you want, you can use a little pocket screwdriver to gently open this up, slide this wire down inside. There it is. Pay attention to the routing of the wire itself. You do not want it to come in contact or near that exhaust. So 
if you pull this over, this wire comes close to this exhaust. If you want to, you can pull us back a little bit, just like so. And we're clear of any potential damage from that hot heat on those wires. At this point here, you're all set with the installation part. If you have a check engine light on on the dash, you want to go ahead and use your scan tool, clear that code, and then go for a road test. At that point there, you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.